Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to use Google Meet within Google Classroom. So recently Google has integrated Google Meet with the Classroom making it even easier to use Google Meet with your lessons during remote learning. So we're going to look at how to set that up today and how to try and avoid students getting in after you've left. So I've got two accounts set up. So I've got a student account and a teacher account. I'm currently in my teacher account on here. So you can see it from both sides. You can see it from a teacher's point of view and a student point of view. So this is a mock classroom I've made up um, to show you this. So let's let's get started. So once you're in your Google Classroom, this can be any classroom you're planning to do a Google Meet session with, um, you go in and you'll see the settings cog in the top right hand corner. You need to click on that and it will load up your class settings. So we can scroll down on here. We wanna go down to general. Okay, and now you'll see Google Meet has its own button in here. Okay, now if you're setting up for the first time, it will say just over where I've got this Google Meet sort of link, it will say generate Google Meet link. Okay, if you haven't done it before, that's what you need to click first, which will give you the link. Okay, and you'll see visible to students under here. So currently this is off. Okay, this is not visible to students. And I'll show you that in my student account now. So this is the same classroom in a student point of view. So you can see there is nothing on here at the moment. So the Google Meet link will appear in the banner at the top, but there's nothing there as of yet. So let's go back to my teaching account. Okay, so we've got visible to students. So I wouldn't recommend turning that on all the time. I'd only have that on maybe a few minutes before your scheduled uh, meet was to go ahead. So say you had a meeting at two o'clock, I wouldn't turn it on till about 10 to 2 and make sure you're the first person in there. It's vitally important that you're the first person in because that means then you have overall control. You can mute students, you can remove students and that is going to be really important in making sure the classroom is completely closed after you leave. So let's click visible to students and click save. So once you click save it will take you back to the Google Classroom homepage and you'll see here I've now got meet link and I can hover over that and click to join. Okay, I can click on that, it opens up a Google Meet window and go straight into the unique classroom for your class, which nobody else will be able to join unless they have that code. Okay, now let's go back to the student view and have a look at their view of this now. So I'm gonna to need to refresh the page because it's been updated since. And now you can see at the top it says Meet Link. Okay, so the students can now see this link. Okay, now if they click the link, that will also take them into a Google Meet window. Okay, I've got to allow that to use my microphone and camera. Okay, so let's go back to my teacher account. Now the teacher needs to be the first person to join. So you're gonna click join now. Okay, so now I'm in the Google Meet and I'm waiting for my students to join. Now, I'm gonna join as a student and show you what happens. It says here, be more is on the call, so it shows that the teacher is in the call. So we can click join, there we go, fantastic. Now, here you've got a people icon, you can see the two people in the group, okay? You can see the teacher, you have no option over the teacher, okay? You can't make any adjustments, whereas for yourself, you can make adjustments to you as well. Okay, now if we go back to my teacher account, I can show you, you have overall control over the students. So by clicking on the people's tab, you can see that's me, that's a teacher account, and this is a student account. And I can go on there, I can put you on the screen, I can mute you if you wasn't already muted, and I can also remove you. Okay, so you can you have overall control over your classroom, which is why it's most important for you to be in first. Okay, so let's look at how to close a classroom off then. So we'll go back to the student account. Now the student could leave, okay, off his own, off their own accord, they could leave the call by clicking leave. But if they don't quit this screen, they can still rejoin after you have left. So if I leave my teacher account and show you, so all my students are now out, I've decided to leave. My student has decided, actually no, I want to go back in and they can get back into the meeting after you've left, which is not what we want. 
Okay, so I'll leave there again. And what they need to do is click return to home screen. So it's important to tell students this, make sure to tell them to return to the home screen. Okay, that'd be really useful. But if they don't, okay, a way for us teachers to stop this happening, all we need to do is we can click the close tab on there. We go back to Google Classroom and go back to the settings cog. Scroll down, back to general. First thing we want to do is turn the visibility off to students. We'll toggle that back to off. And then you can see here where the Google Meet link is. If we click on that, it says copy or reset. So if you click reset, that will then give you a completely new Google Meet link. And this will stop students getting back into that Meet. This will close the link for those students to be able to get in and out. Okay. And then when you come to the next lesson, you want to do another Google Meet. Again, turn on visibility to students. Okay. So I hope that's helped showing you the integration of Google Meet within Google Classroom. I hope this has helped. Um, please leave comments in the comment box below and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications to see more of these videos. I'll be doing a lot more of these over the next few weeks and I hope you'll find them really useful. Please feel free to share, comment and follow my Twitter at trainingwithbm on Twitter. Thank you. Take care.